There's no two ways about it, Chris Tales looks absolutely gorgeous, and yes, it was the art that initially captured my focus among all the fantastic games out there. Beyond that though, Chris Tales is trying an ambitious time travel mechanic for both battle and out of battle gameplay that certainly will make the game unique, and I hope also a fun experience. Given all that I have seen of the game and what I've played with its demo, I am definitely looking forward to getting my hands on the game soon to see just what Chris Tales has to offer. Chris Tales is a turn-based combat RPG specifically taking inspiration from classic and modern JRPGs. The game is being developed by Colombian studios Dreams Uncorporated and Sick, and published by Modus Games. It was first announced back at E3 in 2019 for a 2020 release that was then pushed to early 2021, likely due to the same reasons everything was pushed back during 2020. Finally, a release date was announced for July 20th, 2021, and there was likely much rejoicing given the long journey to reach this point. Chris Tales will be releasing on, well, pretty much everything. PC, Switch, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, and the Xbox Series, along with Stadia so there is no shortage of places to play the game. Plus, those Xbox fans among you will also be pleased to know that it's coming to Xbox Game Pass for both console and PC. There is currently a demo that has been up since the 2019 reveal that covers about 45 minutes of early game content, plus a Colosseum mode that allows you to spend more time in the combat system. Despite being an indie RPG, a notoriously hard genre to garner attention in as a small studio, Chris Tales has managed to attract not just attention, but praise, certainly about its art style, which is self-evidently amazing, and also the creative combat and story. As for the premise, Chris Tales follows Chris Bell, an orphan living in the city of Nareem, when she is one day led to a cathedral by a frog and unlocks her powers. She is a time mage and can see into the past and future in addition to her present vision, and in some cases can use her powers to manipulate events in other time periods. With the encouragement of Matthias, the talking frog who led her to the cathedral in order to help her discover her powers, she connects with another time mage named Wilhelm who will help her figure out exactly how to control her new abilities. Just in time, too, because she, along with her companions, are beset by enemies sent by the Empress, who is trying to destroy the Crystallis Kingdom. It is up to Crispell, Matthias, Wilhelm, and other people they meet along the way to foil these plans. That's the main plot, at least, but the developers have emphasized that your decisions have consequences, so there will be several endings and paths Crispell's story may go, including a true ending to strive for. The game certainly doesn't seem to be breaking new ground with the story, but the idea of decisions having repercussions if they carry through with the idea should give the story life. As for the characters, a lot is riding on Chris Bell as a protagonist, and I think she could potentially shoulder that burden as she learns to become a hero and control her powers. I just hope that the cast around her is as colorful as their art styles are, and that the main group can grow and change over time into a cast we'll care about throughout the story. That leads into the gameplay. The combat, as I said earlier, is turn-based with the choice of actions being standard attack, skill, items, defend, and pass. You have up to three party members in combat at one time, and the turn order is displayed on the top of the screen, and you'll have abilities to manipulate that turn order, a la the Trails series, later on in the game. Each attack and defense you do also has timing involved in it, where if you hit a button at the appropriate time, you deal more damage and take less. However, where combat seems to have more depth and has drawn me in is again with the time travel mechanics. In order to defeat certain enemies, you'll need to use crystals to send enemies to the past or future. The example used in one of the demo battles was getting an enemy's impenetrable shield wet in the present and then sending them into the future where the shield is then rusted and not nearly as effective. I really like this aspect of combat, and I think it could be really cool to figure out different ways to counter enemies using the time mechanics. It adds a puzzle element to battle that will hopefully allow for strategy and creative solutions. My concern is that the system may be fairly basic with only one or two ways to use time mechanics to defeat an enemy, but the developers have said repeatedly that it gets far more complex than what was shown off in the demo. If it has multiple different tactics you can use to defeat enemies, I think the system could achieve a new level of uniqueness that will make it both unforgettable and highly enjoyable. As for out-of-combat gameplay, the basic structure seems to be solving puzzles with time travel, objects and information found around the town, and some tough decisions to make. Much like with the combat, I hope and expect that quests and decisions get more complex as the game progresses. 
One of the coolest things in a game is seeing how your in-game decisions transform a location over time, and Chris Tales has the opportunity to accomplish that in every one of the towns and cities throughout the game. Heck, they could do it with even singular buildings, and I love the possibilities. Even if it's not that in-depth, I do think there's enough within this system to engage a player in ways that standard side quests or even main quest lines in town struggle to do. What will also help this is if the lands are sufficiently populated with interesting characters, and there are hints of a recruitment system which would be amazing if you got greater flexibility on who you bring into your party. Perhaps that will, or could be, part of the decisions Chris Bell needs to make throughout the game. That though is just speculation based on incomplete information, so I'll temper it by saying that the puzzle parts and the investment in the time travel mechanics make out of combat gameplay likely a worthwhile part of the experience. That brings me to the part of Chris Tales that I have little doubt will remain as impressive as it has been so far, and that is the presentation. The art is simply gorgeous, stunning, breathtaking. It is all hand-drawn and has color and style in abundance. This is the land of fairy tales, and it is exquisitely beautiful to look at. Plus, the animation with how the characters move adds to the appeal. The designs are great for the characters and for the buildings and town slash cities as a whole. The team apparently drew heavily on their own Colombian architecture to construct their world, and I love that they used that inspiration for the game. And having seen the photos, yeah, it is very clear they used that inspiration. I am all for developers bringing in real-world inspiration into game worlds to give them an even richer life. The music on top of that is great across the board based on what I've heard so far. Seriously. From the battle track to the cathedral track and all the traversal and town themes, I think Chris Tales soundtrack had a hit in every one. Can they keep up that consistency across the entire game? It would be hard to pull off, but at this rate, they're going for, at the very least, pretty good, with the potential for exemplary music accompanying the pretty looks of the game. Now, there were some presentation issues in the demo, but thankfully the developers have responded to that feedback and hopefully will be making changes based on it. The problems included speaking line versus written line disagreements, audio balancing, which is the one issue that bothered me the most, and concerns about how much control players will have over certain settings. Since the developers acknowledged this feedback, I feel hopeful that all of these issues will be addressed, and I especially hope that the game includes remappable controls and accessibility options like Ickenfell had for its timing-based combat system. Otherwise though, the UI looks good, although some combat menus seem to have menus within menus, which can be a source for confusion. The voice acting is quite good with a mix of well-known dub actors like Kira Buckland for Chris Bell and some relative newcomers who will get a chance to show their talents, and I look forward to hearing what all of them have to offer in their various roles. I'm sure the presentation for the game will remain a highlight once we have our hands on the full game, and I can't wait to be proven right. Chris Tales drew me in with its hand-drawn art, hooked me with its time travel mechanics for combat and puzzles, and has kept my rapt attention with each trickle of news and hints at what's to come. Well, the only thing left now is the game itself, and as you can imagine, I am hyped for it. I hope this video helped inform you, and brought more attention to an upcoming release that I believe deserves that hype. Let me know down in the comments if you're planning on picking up Chris Tales, and what about it has fascinated you. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe to keep up with the channel and more games big and small. I hope you have a great day, and happy gaming!